G'day guys, Mozzie here. This is my Slime Block Elevator version 2, uh, based on the concept that I posted the other day, which is that guy over there. And let's have a look. So we'll push the button, and we get sent up quite fast. Okay, and we're at the top. And to go back down, we can just push the button. And there we are at the bottom. Now that looked a little bit uh, glitchy there. That is because there are still these phantom blocks appearing and sometimes they screw you up, but that's how that one works. Okay guys, just over here at my previous concept design. Uh, this is from the video I put up the other day. And how it works is it uses the uh, the drawbridge type mechanism here vertically um, uh, and it pulls a single block up and when it gets to this point it switches to this side which pulls it up to the next level now as a concept it's a good idea but it's not entirely practical because this is about as high as you can go uh, if you went any higher these would actually run into each other because you'd have to alternate over to you know this side and that actually hit each other so that's um, it was good for a concept but not entirely practical so I've spent a bit of time working on this to make it work and I think I've got it to a point now where it's uh, good enough to show off and so what I did is instead of having two separate sides this uses just the one row of slime blocks and that one row gets transported from the bottom all the way up to the top so we still have these little piston guys here and they just push it all the way to the top and then when it's at the top it just goes in reverse and goes all the way back down so I'll just show you the back of it as well so we have, uh, it's still a little bit messy, I'm yet to just shrink it just a little bit more it is actually pretty small at the moment, it's 5 five by 6 I think it is um, so the way this works is we've got a, a button on this side which is uh, extended, so pulse extension and then it runs into comparator here the comparator fires and makes the pistons go and this goes all the way up with a small delay to the next level and so on and so forth all the way to the top and the timing is just right that this main slime block pillar will make it all the way to the top uh, once it gets to the top then there's another button here which also has a um, a pulse extension on it and the pulse extension then goes down down this way um, and hooks into these comparators which fire on the same piston setups and goes all the way down to the bottom so let's have a look at it while we're not standing in it because while I'm recording it's a little bit difficult so you can see he's flying up there quite fast like that and hit this and it's going back down pretty cool I think um, okay so this is as high as I've made it so far it's already higher than I thought I could get it but I reckon you can go even higher still um, what I know for sure is this probably won't work well on any modded servers because my other elevator designs use this comparator clock and it doesn't seem to work well on modded servers uh, I haven't tried it on vanilla yet, a vanilla server, but I assume it would probably operate much the same as it is now um, providing you don't have too much lag because sometimes the um, the phantom blocks can actually push you off hopefully they get fixed soon and it'll make this a lot more reliable but it is pretty cool still so I'll put the world download in the description and you guys can download and have a look um, ignore these guys over here, I was just trying different configurations uh, this one is a working version this one ignore, this one is just a stripped down version and that is the current one that I'm working on at the moment 
So all that's left to do now is make this a bit tidier um, and same with this side uh, and then once that's all done and I'm happy with it uh, I'll might try and make a tutorial but uh, until then feel free to download the world and have a look for yourself. Thanks for watching.